It's got a slow fade. So that was forgetting January with jumping in reverse. Uh, I almost uh, didn't realize it was over because uh, we were laughing at Jeremy. Uh, I got some juicy video of that. Uh, send that right over to the freaking January dude. So anyway, yeah. So we got we got a one and a half songs left that we're gonna two. play. Uh, two. two, yeah, two. <laughs> so sure, two. But uh, two. <laughs> we we, <laughs> we got one that we got we got to send out. That was probably the creepiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, I, it's 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 a it's a shame we're only recording us and not have one out there too because it's actually it's it's pretty good. Andrew looks like, like he's I from think the they're assaulting. Oh, I'll tell you guys a story. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. I gotta do this though. This is great. So, if you guys been to Fubar, right? A few ah. times. You know yeah. how it's a it's a little different out there outside at night. Yeah. Okay. So I was out there uh, for the Treading Ocean CD release uh, night before last, and um, the there was this old homeless lady that's always around about my height real nice lady and uh she came over asking me if she could bum a cigarette i'm a smoker i was like nah you know i don't have any which i did but i didn't really have enough to bum any out that's so that's not fair no well I, I i i need my money too yeah but so, you don't know well <laughs> okay really well I, karma got me let me tell right, the story okay okay i'm sorry so she had these nutrigrain bars they were like fruit Ooh, and nut bars you nice. know and she was trying to trade me one for the cigarette That's and i a said deal. I, I know but i didn't i wasn't <laughs> hungry Why wouldn't you take that <laughs> well I mean, she was a homeless like you know lady and i, I really wasn't hungry so I, I said no thank you you know and that i didn't have a cigarette and i was sorry and i'd get her next time i'm down there a lot i know her i see her she knew that so she wandered off and uh colin reagan who's a, he was promoting the show came out and uh, asked me if he could borrow my lighter for his cigarette i gave him my lighter and she comes running back over full force shoving the the nutrigrain bars at me and I had earplugs in, so I couldn't really hear what she was saying until, uh, you know, uh, she got real close. And I was just like, ma'am, I'm sorry. I don't have a cigarette. I don't have anything. She's like, I don't bleep and care what you bleep and have. Just take this, blah, 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 blah. And she, and she shoves them in my hand. So I've got my cigarette in one hand and the nuclear bars in another hand. And she's like, and here, take this too. And she has something in her fist. I don't know what it is. I can't, like, I had no hands. So she pulls open my shirt and drops two quarters nice. down the front of my sweatshirt and runs off. Like you're a vending machine. Like, I just didn't know what the heck was happening. Colin Reagan was standing there looking at me like, he's like, I, I, I swear if it went any further, I would I would have done something. And I was like, really? I started cracking up hysterically. It was really funny. Hmm. I don't She's know like, what oh, I you do don't have a cigarette? Situation. She's like, catch me outside. How about that? Right. Oh God. How? How? You <laughs> <laughs> had to throw that in there somewhere. Right. Well, I was ge- I was gonna get to it, but uh, uh, he got to to it before I'm I sorry. did. So no, I just couldn't resist. I mean, Andrew's well, if you if you now. if you do need a ticket though for for the for the 18th February 18th to see down swinging and yeah. uh, and and you want to meet Keith for yeah. one of those, he'll be at the Firebird tonight. So what do they got to do? Cash me outside. How about that? Right. There you go. <laughs> There you go. So speaking of Callaway Circus CD releases tonight, uh, I'll 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 plug some details for that. They played the Notes for Hope thing with y'all, uh, which is something the Cinema Story does every uh, every year. They do uh, it's Notes for Hope. All, all proceeds uh, benefit. Uh, I think it was it's been hope, for the, hope for the day. Hope for the day. The last two years before that, it was to write Love on Our Arms. But uh, it's it's a really good thing they do it every. Uh, Yes, it used to be like spring. Now it's fall, right? Well, the first two years we did it April, like two yeah. years apart, and then this year it's well. The past year it was September. It's going to be September again. It, it's really cool. And uh, if anybody wants to get involved in that, uh, by the way, hit him up because uh, he's always, you know, it's never too early to start, right? I'm nope. If I learned one year. thing from The Lion King, oh it's gosh. be prepared. He says this all the time. <laughs> so, Try yeah. All right. Too early. People. Yep. So, so hit him up. <laughs> I was going to say this year for uh, Notes for Hope, I'm going to try to uh, tie in some, some art. Oh, with cool. It. That's super cool. I wanted to do that last year. We kind of ran out of time. And uh, this year, we're definitely going to put something together. Okay. Okay, well, let me know when that happens. And also, like, I'll get you all in here to talk about it. Like, we'll do a whole show just for that. Um, yeah. But these guys played the, this past September. And uh, their CD release show is tonight. Super, super fun kids. And a really good stage show. This is the title track, which, uh, unless you've bought the album on iTunes, you haven't heard it yet. It's, it's great. It's called Teenage Psychopath. We will be back in just a couple minutes. <laughs> <laughs> 